Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to start a new project. So the new project is going to be a music app. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what exactly we are going to do in this project and uh, what, what would be the core component that we'll be using and stuff like that. I'll basically give you a basic overview of what exactly this project is and how we are going to implement that. Okay. So the first thing that I uh, did over here is that I named this project as Musify uh, since it's a music app. So this is something that I came up with. Uh, the next thing uh, is the design. So if you look into this design, this is a Figma community file that we'll be using. Uh, the designer is Chandrama Saha. I've also added a link to the description as well. So you can check out her more work as well from there. Okay, so this is basically the design part of this project. And the next thing would be app features. What kind of feature we are going to do. Uh, the, some of the core features that are on top of my mind are authentication. Uh, we'll be doing basic authentication. We are not going to do um, Facebook and Google because we have already did that uh, in a previous uh, project, uh, which was a food delivery app. So you can uh, use the same if you want to implement the Facebook and Google. You can directly copy that. Uh, into this project as well but yeah uh, for this basically going to be uh, authentication is going to be the first part then we'll be implementing songs listing of songs um, and then we will be implementing artists playlists we'll be implementing search functionality uh, between like songs artists and playlists and stuff uh, we will be implementing uh, lyrics as well so that uh, when like if songs have lyrics uh, users can see those lyrics as well in the in the screen and along with that uh, we'll like implementing a lot of other stuff as well but like these are some some of the top of the things that are on my mind right now uh, after that what tech stack we are going to do this time um, again mbvm architecture uh, as, a, as a basic uh, for dependency injection this time i'm going to go with coin we already have made a couple of projects with hilt and uh, this time i'm gonna use coin as well along with the annotation uh, so that will be exactly like mostly similar to what we have in Hilt. Uh, but again, this is going to be coin. Uh, we will be using coroutines and flows uh, for our uh, handling of uh, background threads and stuff like that. For UI, we will be implementing Jetpack Compose again, Material 3 Design and then Navigations. Uh, this time there will be multi uh, screen navigations. So again, uh, new exciting things that we haven't done till now. Uh, we will be doing a backend integration. I am more inclined toward retrofit, but we'll see if we want to do uh, Ktor or retrofit. And then one more thing that we are going to do in this project is repository pattern because um, this is again a new thing. We haven't done that in our previous project. So repository pattern is going to be the new thing that we will be doing. Uh, again, music playback and core implementation. Again, for that, we'll be using media player or exo player from Android. Uh, and then media session, we will be using services and foreground notification with actions where user can interact with the with the notification and the app uh, from the from the shutter. Right. And then lastly, we will be implementing room database, work manager, and then setting preferences uh, for for more better user experience. Uh, and yeah, I think that's pretty much what I have right now in my mind uh, regarding the core features that we'll be using. Sorry, uh, the, the tech stack that we'll be using. And last question is that why don't you guys subscribe? If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe as it motivates me to create more content uh, like this. So let's just get started. Let's just go through of what we have as a basic right now and uh, how we are going to do it. So the first thing uh, that I'm going to show you over here is this uh, server that's that's basically running. It has not like or right now it doesn't have all the things for now, but will be I'll basically keep on adding to into this. And uh, from over here, you can see that uh, if like if you want to check, we have these endpoints, uh, this local server uh, endpoint uh, URL is there. So basically what what this is is this is a documentation of the endpoints that are available in our backend server and uh, it has like you can over here you can see this auth register login artist and all these things uh, regarding artists and songs uh, we'll definitely add more endpoints to this but right now we are at this point uh, with this 
uh and uh, from where do we get all these thing like how would you do that so to do that uh, what you need to do is you need to go over here uh to my github and from github repositories you can search for musify dash backend uh you can directly access this from the from the link in the description as well uh, and basically what you need to do is that you need to clone this uh over here uh in your project in your system and once you basically clone this uh here is something uh that will be available for you uh this is basically again a ktor backend and uh, what you need to do is that you need to do a couple of things uh to make it accessible to to you to you uh the first thing is that uh you might not have this env file in the code when you load it so i have basically placed this sample uh an env what you need to do is that you need to rename it to env dash dot env sorry so basically it should be something like this dot env and once you open that env file you will see that you have these things over here the first thing is the jwt secrets uh, this is again uh, you can create any any key that you want it totally it's up to you on how basically big a key you want to create over here uh, the rest of the thing is that if you have uh, any other naming for this you can always change that to how you want uh, over here i basically set it up with my sql server so for my sql server you can always uh, say that uh, where the url like uh, the place uh, the ip of where the uh, database is hosted the port of the uh, database that you wherever you have hosted uh, the name of the database you want to to set uh, root as a username of the database and password so basically if i am going to do it uh, on my local so let's say if i open my sql workbench so basically uh, this is something uh, that i have right now uh, and you can see that i have some databases for example i have a food delivery i have a music app i have a shopper db so basically this is the one that i created and if you like when you open that my my sql workbench you might not have it so for that what you need to do is that you need to run this query which is create database music underscore app you don't need to do anything else just create run this query and you can click on this and once you basically run this what it will do is that it will create for me it's failing because i already have a database created for this name but you can always create it with this and once you create it from here you don't need any like that uh, the only thing that you need from over here is that you need to uh, if like when you are installing it you'll define some sort of username and password for the for the system so uh, this specific workbench so you need to make sure that you have all these things available uh, local host db port root and root is my password you can set whatever your password it is during the installation of your mysql workbench uh, so make sure to to use the correct password that you have added over there uh, over here as well uh, then you have these thing you don't need to touch these thing it's just like some sort of configuration that we have set it over here right so now this is configuration that that's there once you set up all this configuration what you need to do is that you can just try to run the code and if everything is set up correctly like the database connection and all that so when you run this you'll see that you you've had something like this and then you can go back to over here to your swagger api and then refresh it and once you refresh it you'll see something like this so now uh i'll basically run one query to to show you how basically it works so right now you can see when you load this you'll see something like this that says auth slash login is your endpoint here is the request type of data what kind of request it requires and then here is the response on what exactly the response could be uh, you can always try it out as well with your own data as well uh, this will basically help you communicate with the server so now you can see uh, this is the email that i'm trying to log in with this password and uh, now this above response you don't see anything right now right so when i click on execute uh, you will see that now the system is going to get this so basically this was the request and this was the response that it received this basically it created a token for us uh, and then along with that it created this user id and all these things so basically this is coming from the server itself and uh, if you compare it with this one this will be exactly same thing so basically this documentation will will help us creating our model objects uh, in the in the in the code when we are trying to implement all these things and uh, what else do we have i think uh, so basically that's pretty much what you need when you are setting up your backend 
uh, and now we'll go through some of the designs so let's say so when you open this design in your figma uh, you'll see something like this so what you need to do is that in the pages side you can go to your dark dark modes and from dark modes you'll see you have all these things that are there uh, you can have this um, splash screen this is an onboarding screen then we have this uh, design for for our login or through socials and then uh, proceed with password or something like that you can log in from here you can always uh, sign up from here as well and then we, you can see that we have this home page where we have some some playlist and songs that user can listen to uh, then top mixes recommendations uh, from the search section you can always search for for different kind of uh, musics uh, that you want uh, then we have this library section that have a lot of other features where you can filter by playlist, artist, album, folders, and so, so, so much. So, so we have all these things. And then when you go to your playing, uh, play media player section, class or screen over here, you can see that you have this, uh, seek bar. You have these buttons that can play pause next and do stuff like that. And along with that, you have these icons where you can share and store uh we will be having all these things again we'll not be implementing all of them but i'll try to implement most of those uh that are basically different and then that that are tricky so that we have an idea of how uh it looks and uh, uh this is basically an, another thing the dragging of items from one place to another so like if you want to drag a song from to different position this dragging functionality will be we will be doing that and that's pretty much uh, what we have. We have around 25 screens that we'll work with. Uh, we'll not be implementing all of them, but again, we will be we will be trying to implement most of the functionality that a music app should have, and then the rest will be in your hand to implement. And now, uh, from this video, you'll be you'll have an idea of how uh, all these things are working. Uh, you how you can set up your backend uh, again you can take your backend take the backend uh, clone it make sure to clone it so that you can keep on pulling the changes because uh, i'll be uh, making these changes to the backend uh, as time pass so so that you don't have to like every time go and then download the code just try to clone it and get the get the updates with with just a pull so yeah that's pretty much it for today i hope you like this project and uh, let me know in the comment what you think about this project uh, what you think about the tech stack and stuff that we are planning to use and i'll see you in our first video of this project so stay tuned and see you next time happy coding bye Thank you so much for watching the video. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't forget any update. If you got any question, you can join my Discord server. The link is in the description. Also, for quick updates and tips, you can follow me on Instagram. Until next time, keep learning, keep developing. Bye.